Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be featuring the PA2V2 by Electric Avenues. Now this is a portable headphone amplifier and that's exactly what the name stands for. Portable Amplifier 2 version 2. So just like our delicious maple syrup, the PA2V2 is also made in Canada and over the last few years Gary, the gentleman who makes these, has managed to produce over 8,500. In fact, you're looking at the 8,500 model right here. On the front you'll find this very nice translucent ruby red piece of plastic that encases all the components. And on the front we also have all of the jacks, so we have the output, input power source, volume, and the power switch. When the power is on, a nice red LED also illuminates to indicate that there is power going through this amp. On top, we just have a few diagrams that show where each of the inputs are. Alright, so this amp can run off of rechargeable batteries for about 100 hours without a recharge. And you may think you might need to take out the batteries to recharge them, but no, they actually recharge over the included power supply. So all you need to do is plug this into the front of the amp and it will automatically start recharging the batteries with the built-in charging circuit. So this means that you'll never have to change your rechargeable batteries until their recharge cycles have been exhausted. So in a few words we're looking at about four years of use without changing the batteries which is really significant and it can end up saving you quite a lot of money when it comes down to changing batteries. However when it is time to change the batteries all you need to do is take out the two screws on the bottom of the PA2V2 take off the top of the ABS case and then just remove the batteries and replace them with some new rechargeables. And while we're inside I might as well show off a little hidden feature that isn't exactly in the manual at the moment. You can actually change the gain manually with these two tiny screws to match your audio source device perfectly. So the recommended setting for this is to have your audio source device at about 60% volume and then adjusting the amp to get the right volume. This is so you aren't exhausting the built-in sound card on your audio device and so that you can let the amp take over and give you better audio. I tested this setting with the built-in audio card on my computer, iPad and a USB sound card and found that the setting was really really optimal and gave a crystal clear sound. The bass, mids and high were all tuned perfectly, a really nice great flat frequency response and really made listening to music and podcasts very enjoyable. That being said, I think this product seems like a very good choice for anyone who's traveling a lot in the plane, bus, car, metro, because it really is so small and you're getting a lot of good audio out of it without turning up your mobile device all the way. Combine this with a good pair of headphones and you're pretty much set for listening to music on the road. So of course being a great product for listening to some nice music, if you have any questions, Pretty much anything can be resolved in a very timely manner by the gentleman who makes these and speaking of Gary, he also includes a small enjoy the amp message with every single package, which is really something different that I haven't seen any company in the past doing. This is also a really nice personal touch as this amp is handmade. And while we're on the subject of what's inside the package, we also get a small transformer for charging the rechargeable batteries and a gold plated short line cable. So overall this product gets a 10 on 10 because it simply is fantastic for the size and price. For a portable amp that's under $100, you really can't rival the quality of the PA2V2. So obviously as he's been building these for quite some time now, he's upgraded the components in the PA2V2 over the components in the older versions. So you're really getting a really well engineered product right here. Also the design choices that he made really complement some of the higher end retro equipment that some people have including myself I have this old Scott A416 sitting on my desk and that's actually the desktop amp I've been using for the greater part of the last few years it recently got a new rectifier and still sounds great uh, many many years after the production has ended so to end off this video I'd like to thank Gary for sending this along and thank all of you for watching I'll be back very soon with some more great content